In the fall of 1940, the Italians, still dreaming of resurrecting the Roman Empire, moved into Greece but were thrown back. Just as in Africa, German troops subsequently joined the fight, in this case on the 6th of April 1941, with much more success. This campaign was a rapid one. By the end of the month, Athens had fallen and the entire mainland was under German control. The day after the fall of Athens, the 28th of April, several thousand Allied troops, including a large number of Australians and New Zealanders, were awaiting evacuation from Kalamata, 150 miles southwest of Athens on the Peloponnese. During the night, a column of men, vehicles, and guns of the German 5th Armored Division set upon the city. Sergeant Jack Hinton, a 31-year-old veteran of the 20th New Zealand Battalion, went to assist in repelling this attack, but was instead ordered to surrender. Angrily disregarding this, he gathered a small party of men and went into Kalamata. On arrival, after taking heavy fire, he was ordered to retreat, but ignored this too. Instead, charging a German gun and taking the position out with grenades. Sergeant Hinton continued his attack, capturing machine gun nests, clearing out two houses of Germans at bayonet point, and capturing an artillery piece. This small counterattacking force held their positions for a short while until the German onslaught overwhelmed them. Sergeant Hinton was finally wounded in the stomach and captured. Fortunately, most of the Allied troops waiting for evacuation were made prisoners as well. Five and a half months later, two months after it was confirmed that he was a prisoner and not dead, Sergeant Hinton's VC was gazetted and he was presented with the ribbon while at Stalag 9C in Germany. He frequently attempted to escape and finally got away during the evacuation of the camp in April 1945, linking up with American troops and fighting alongside them in the waning weeks of the war before they found out who he was and sent him back to Britain. He wasn't exactly a settled man before the war, spending many years traveling New Zealand as a swagman, or hobo as it's called in the US or Canada, but back in peacetime again he worked as a hotel manager before retiring in 1980 and finally dying in 1997 at the age of 87 one of the longer-lived VCs in the Second World War. This was the war's first New Zealand VC recipient, and the first VC of the Greek campaign. It wouldn't be the last of either of those things, and not even the last VC of the 20th Battalion.